is up guys I'm in the XJ and I am actually using a GoPro Hero 7 that I bought um, I want to say six or seven months ago I don't think I ever mentioned in the video that I bought it I had a kind of I want to say I had a stressful day but I was kind of stressed for some reason so there's this road down in Hallsville that's about 20 minutes away from my house and all it is is country roads Anyway, it's lots of fun out here. I really want to actually just come out here and park sometime to just, you know, like overland and stuff, just like spend a while just driving around here and then park and just camp. I think there's actually a, a lake around here where you can camp. I wanted to get a video doing that, but it looks like it's about to rain, so I either need to get that video now or I'm just going to have fun doing it. That's my tire tread. That was risky. Oops! I swear, like, I'm surprised water didn't start coming in. And then, like, the whole exhaust was, like, burning the fumes. Oops! Bumpy. Oh, I think this is where it gets really good. That water was deep. It was, it was bad. Oh! Yep, this is where it gets a little choppy. Trying to record with both cameras, but the GoPro like locked up or something. When I tried to make a video, it says it's recording, but it's obviously not recording, and then it won't turn off, so it's just like stuck, it's froze. I think this happened before and I forgot about it. Um, I'd have to take it out and take the battery out. Might need to tell GoPro that their GoPro isn't working. Also, I got a little hamster pet now. Since I went through the mud and stuff, it's squealing. Fun. I'm also chewing gum. It's a new habit of mine. I might want to put this in full time high. For, for full time. I've been driving in two wheel drive all other than when I went through that really deep puddle. I had it in four wheel drive high. Everywhere else it's been in two wheel drive. So, trying to practice my art of driving or driving skills. Okay guys, there's a stinking muddy challenge up ahead. Got my camera set up. Actually, oh, that means I have to go through it twice. Yeah, guess you have to do what you gotta do. Put in part time for a wheel drive just in case and get my momentum built up, let's go. I can guess her and then she just does like really well. I have to go get the camera though, so. Camera. I'm gonna need to get like some rubber floor mats in this thing. Nah, that would be a great time to get stuck. <laughs> okay. Turn.
camera getting dirty. We don't need my camera getting dirty. Oh. I got my camera money, guys. I think it's okay. That sounds bad. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Whatever it was. Roll up my window now. Whee! Just go through the mud. Don't use the camera. Don't get it muddy. Yeah, mud goes on your pants, not your camera. Just... Real men have grease all over their pants. Right, Mom? Okay, so... All my jeans have grease on them. And then everything else, like everything I have has grease on it because I work on my own vehicles and I just get grease on everything. I don't care. I just wipe mud on these pants. My mom just washed these. And today she was like, Trevor, I, I cleaned your pants and I got all the grease out. And I was like, yay. I didn't really care. But, and I, like I go anywhere. My mom's like, couldn't you find a pair of clean jeans? I was like, these are clean. She's like, they got grease all over them. I'm like, I know they're stained, you know, but I know. My mom loves me. She just hates that I got grease all over all my pants. I think it looks, at least I'm not like a pretty boy. I am pretty, but you know what I mean. Onward. Problem. The GoPro was there, right there, and uh, now it's somewhere over there. So we got to go find it, um, and hopefully not hit it. I think I see it. Is that it? I think that's it. Ah! Well, the GoPro's fine, but what really stinks is I hit some really cool spots, and I got none of it on video. Because the GoPro fell off. But I'm not really going to put it back on. It's not worth the risk. <sighs> Bummer. So this is apparently a private property, which really stinks. I don't know if the land is private or the road and the land. I don't know. I wish I had a number or something, because look at this view. This is probably the best parts of East Texas. I love the nature here. The trees are beautiful, the dirt roads. This is the kind of stuff I really want to do. Like I want to travel in places like this and just be able to just camp right by this water or right by the side of the road and just relax or just right in here. It's like beautiful here. Okay, it's definitely not bright enough to record, but uh, I, kill, I killed the battery or the alternator and I don't know which. I pulled over on the side of the road and this nice lady gave me this thing. I got like five miles and then it just like wouldn't accelerate because it didn't have the power to spark and uh, I'm like 25 minutes away from home. So it's cold. We're gonna see how well this works. Ugh. It's no fun. 